All right, let's have a look at the Vienna Advantage uh, VAT engine. Vienna Advantage has a quite powerful and uh, flexible taxation engine which can be used in uh, different countries of the world. So basically, um, as part of the localization, Vienna Advantage tax engine can be configured in a way that it um, doesn't need any kind of coding or extension if you would like to use it in different countries. Um, let's have a look at that. Now, first of all, uh, when we talk about VAT, um, VAT will apply to different products. So, uh, we'll first look at um, how VAT can be linked to products. Now, um, on the product screen, um, we assign to the products that we have a tax category. The reason for that is that um, with, with one product, there might be different taxes which could be related in a way that if you, for example, sell the product in within your country, the tax might be different. If you sell the product in another country, the tax, the VAT will be different or it might be exempted. Or in case you sell it to a certain type of customers um, against certificates, without certificates, etc. So uh, there is an impact that the tax rate might always be different. So in that case, we do not assign a tax rate to the product, but we assign a tax category to the product. And this tax category might have different tax rates. So let's have a look at that. Now, uh, in this case, we have a tax category for electronic products. So while defining the tax categories, you define it in a way that it fits to the commodities. You also see the commodity code. And within the tax category, there might be different tax rates which might be applicable based on certain conditions. Now, in this case, uh, I would like to show you that uh, we have built here different tax rates within that tax category and uh, let's have a look at that so there are there for example is um, a tax rate which is um, which is GST 5%. So there is a tax rate of 5% and, um, and this is applicable to a tax class, which means this is applicable to companies which have a tax class of NGO, which means um, in this case the product is going to be sold to, um, in, in case it is sold to NGOs, the tax applicable tax will be GST 5%. Then there is another condition here um, that the tax base will be location based. Um, where um, in case we sell the ship to address is, is Switzerland then there will be 0% tax in this case so we are able to configure based on various parameters so which includes um, what is the document type uh, which means uh, for example there are certain document types based on which taxation might be different um, which includes for example um, in uh, FNB where if you uh, take away something, the same item will be taxed in a different way than if you um, dine in, etc. So the taxation might be different. It can be different based on uh, the location, tax region, and the tax class. So we have configured here various criteria based on which um, the taxation can be different. So in this case, invoice to address, if it is Russian Federation, then the tax is 0%. And we have configured here a very typical uh, example for the European Union, where we say, um, if the tax region is European Union and the invoicing uh, country, different country of origin is, is Germany, then the European Union tax 0% will be applicable in that case. So you have, of course, the possibility to define different um, tax rates based on different conditions. And what we also can do is that we can have a multi-level taxation, which means you might have a tax um, and that tax um, has a child tax or certain tax has a parent tax, which means uh, tax on tax. So we are also able to cover um, different um, levels of taxation so that the parent tax can be linked to a tax so that in the end multiple taxes can be calculated in the same shot. Now the idea behind um, all this setup and configuration is of course to find the right tax automatically at the time of transaction by the system. So considering all these settings, of course, we can do that. Now, it may happen that multiple conditions apply at the same time to, um, to a transaction, which means the customer might be um, an NGO and it might be in Switzerland, etc. Um, so in that case, of course, we have the possibility to set up tax preferences. 
which means what is the first preference, what is the second preference to be given, what is the third preference. And, um, and if none of the text uh, preferences apply, what is the default text to be taken in that case. So, so we have of course all that configuration which can be used to define the right taxation. And um, we can of course have a look at the customer as well to see how we can set up these things at the customer level for example. Of course, uh, one of the factors is the invoice to address um, and which is based on the location. So we have of course um, the ship to address and the invoice to address which is uh, going to a certain address of a certain country or region. But uh, on the other hand, we also have um, text classes uh, which are set and on the customer level or customer um, location level based on which the um, yeah the text can be uh, different so if this customer becomes an NGO then a different text uh, will apply in that case. Now apart from of course calculating the text the VN Advantage also has the capability of, um, of uh, calculating the text declaration so we have a text declaration window where we can do the setup um, how the text declaration will happen what are the settings how what are the periods in which you do that and after doing the configuration, you are able to get the result in terms of how much tax is due in a certain period. So um, basically all these uh, capabilities are, are available in VN Advantage. And then we have plenty of standard reports which allow you to um, look at your taxation details in terms of buying or purchasing, etc. Just looking at uh, one of the taxes, so just um, to show you also um, what are the different settings that you can do on a tax rate itself which is there is a name, um, there is a validity date, so um, you can also set up the validity then requires a test set text certificate or not, so that of course will have an impact that uh, on submission of the certain certificates um, this text will be applicable. Is it a document level text or a line level text? Is it a sales text? Is, is it applicable on SO side or sales order side and purchase order side, so both sides and then of course there is a percentage. So there are various um, types of settings that we have additionally on that. Now in this case we have picked up um, summary level text which means um, this was the other one. Now in this case we have picked up the summary level text which means um, this is a parent text which is used again in another text um, as a parent whereas multiple level calculation is possible.